So we, we have this technique that other people really haven't used much. Mm -hmm. but we found it to be a very powerful technique. Mm -hmm. And because looking at the fate of the oxygens of inorganic phosphate, yes. when it made ATP, those oxygen, one of them goes to make water. Mm -hmm. Now we found that by use of the stable isotope oxygen 18, mm -hmm. we could measure this reaction mm -hmm. of water going in and out of phosphate as oh, part yes. of the process. Mm -hmm. And by measuring that under the conditions, we can probe down as to what's happening in the heart of the enzyme mm -hmm. that we couldn't see mm -hmm. by other ways. Oh, yes. So we so had, had a way, of seeing, what, way of seeing what's happening down inside. Mm -hmm. And really the start of the uh, binding change mechanism was when I was sitting in a seminar talking about some aspects of theoretical chemistry that I did not understand. Yes. Uh, and uh, so I let my mind wander. Yes. Mm -hmm. And uh, then I suddenly came to me at that stage, when mm. a few times I get a stroke of insight, I can explain our oxygen 18 data if the energy is not used to make the ATP molecule, mm -hmm. but if it can be made without the energy input, then the energy is used to release the oh, ATP yes. molecule. Yes. Oh, yes. So that was the start of it. Uh -huh. you see that? And that was a sudden inspiration that, was the that one, came to that's you. That's one time <laughs> yes. when I can come yeah. and say yes. there, yes. Was a, that it, uh, there was a starting point. Mm. Now, mm. at other times, you make progress mm. and you, you can hardly recognize you started down mm. a new mm. path. Mm. You mm. see, mm. but this mm. one was a start down a oh, new yes. path.